Twitch, you already know what it is, man. It's your boy, 8 VJ. Today, I'm going to show you guys some nice free-to-play moves on Xenoverse 2. Now, I'm not going to make this video super long. I'm just going to show you guys the moves and let y'all be on your day, man. All right, so if I was to fight online with free-to-play moves, this is exactly what I would use. Character you see right here is an Earth Moon build. Um, yeah, you're gonna want to run times 10 Kamehameha because it is one of the most powerful key blast moves in the game, especially and it's free. You know, I think you can um I think you can unlock this in the store. If not, then it's probably one of these parallel quests. I'm just gonna have to find out which one it is backflip i'm pretty sure you can buy this in the store this doesn't use key but it can get you out of a lot of jams like let's just say you get your stamina broke or if you're in the middle of a fight or trying to evade just pretty much pop this right here e-blast cannon e-blast cannon is used to combo up a lot of moves so um using key blast cannon that has a tutorial on its own it's not a easy move to use but once you learn how to like really use this this is a pretty good move to use super guy shock flash is a counter attack it's a pretty good one you know this one is mainly for like block and strike attacks so yeah doesn't do a lot of damage but you know he get the job done now time skip molotov is a pretty good ultimate attack that's free I'm gonna show you guys. I'm not just gonna show you guys these moves. I'm gonna show you guys a few more. But yeah, I'm skip Molotov's a pretty good one. Kind of hard to hit, but it's all right. Like if you can land it, it's a lot of damage. And Justice Combination. Justice Combination still to this day, ever since this game came out in 2016, this is still one of the most cheesy ultimates in the game. And you can pretty much like spam this at any time like you can spam this until your opponent has no stamina and you can literally play the game like that now obviously you know if you're a saiyan you know there's other transformations you can use like super saiyan super vegeta future super saiyan and all that uh if you're using earthland i guess potential unleashed i'm not gonna lie to you guys i haven't used ultra instinct online so i can't give you an honest answer or i haven't used beast online so um, for now, I can just tell you to use Central Unleashed. I'm pretty sure the meta has changed over the years. But yeah. Uh, don't use this. This used to be good. Punisher Guard used to be good. I mean, it's not bad. It's just, if you're using Punisher Guard on like parallel quests and stuff like that, then this is a really good one. Because you can pretty much evade anything. But if you're fighting competitively, you're going to want to put on a fake blast. And that's it. You know, a fake blast. Or, you know, there's an, I think there's another one that does damage. It's, it was Broly's one. I don't remember what Broly's one was, but it's like it does like a lot of blasts. But, um, yeah, fake blast is the best one because you literally cannot block this attack. You can spam that too if you want. And it's only 200 stamina instead of 3. Most of them are, like most of the um, base of skip. Now, although these moves are pretty good, there's still some alternatives. I don't want to just show you guys a few of them, you know. Um, Monsenko is decent if you're um, for free to play moves. Um, what else is pretty good? Can't remember off the top of my head. I guess the other gun is pretty good. That beam is spam that. Um, God Breaker, this is, a um, this is a <laughs> counter-attack, pretty good counter-attack, um, let's see, Perfect Shot, a lot of people like Perfect Shot, I'm not, I don't really, uh, it doesn't do much for me, but Perfect, a lot of people like Perfect Shot, uh, Vanishing Ball is decent, Big Bang Attack, it, it's, it's like, it's not that accurate, but if you can land it it does a lot of damage this move used to be very cheesy because you could break stamina 
Um, what else is pretty good? I'll show you guys. Let's go to strike skills. Super God Fist is still an annoying move. You can spam at any time. You can like do a one two punch and spam that over and over if you want. Um, this move used to be so overpowered. But the thing is with this move, Super Dragon Fist, and, like, I think you can like evade it now. When this came out, oh my goodness, this was so annoying. Um uh, Sonic Kick is decent. Um cross arm dive. I think if you pair this with a, a sledgehammer to do a cross arm dive, you can, like an insta kill. Um yeah, an insta kill attack. Uh arm crash has instant well, not what you call it, super armor. I'm not sure if this is still good, but it used to be good. The reason why I'm, talk I'm saying used to be because a lot of people don't use these moves anymore. They use mostly DLC moves. All the DLC moves are pretty much the best in the game. Shining Slash. Shining Slash is pretty good. Um, let's see. Uh, these these two moves right here were so if anybody has played Xenoverse 1, these were so overpowered. Angry hit, the spam is at any time. That's a very annoying move to go against. That's free. Android kick is annoying. Um Rocket Tackle, oh my goodness, this is annoying. Put on Rocket Tackle. I know I'm saying a lot of moves, so just keep all this in mind. Y'all can try all these moves. I don't want this video to be super, super long. Try out all these moves. Door your head, but it's annoying. Critical up is annoying. Jump spike, time skip jump spike. And yeah. Now, let me show you guys another little thing if you guys are still watching in this video. When I play online, like if I'm fighting, um, Let's just say you're fighting like against a friend and they'll let you charge it up. I'll use my A slot as like a a little um just like I'm reserving my A slot for charging up. That's only if you're like playing friends that'll let you do that. Nine times out of ten when you're fighting online, your opponent not gonna let you charge up. If you're playing parallel quest, then yeah of course, but this your A slot is your charge up. Um I'll usually put like a counter attack or a like yeah some type of counter attack as my b button slot it doesn't have to be but you know the b button slot could be anything you know could be a key blaster strike um so I, I know this is confusing let me make this all like um organized you're gonna want to have one strike attack one e blast attack Maybe an evasive or counter, it doesn't matter which one. And then, you know, another move you guys made like the spam, like a spamming move. And that's how you do it. For example, how would I do it? I wouldn't do it, yeah, like this. Yeah, like this. Exactly like this, you know? I got my Key Blast move, I got my counter. You replace Key Blast Cannon if you don't want to use that. Like an annoying move, and yeah. Instead of time skip Molotov, you can throw on. Oh, yeah, my bad, you guys. I forgot to go over ultimates. Yeah. Real quick, three moves that are good. Um, Victory Rush, Drag Dragon Fist. Um, this one might be the best free to play one. Times four, Kyle Ken, Kamehameha. And this one, it takes a while to hit, but it does a lot of damage. I still think Emperor's Dead Beam might be like the strongest free to play move in the game. Ultimate at least. So yeah. Emperor's Dead Beam, Justice Combination. And times for Kamiyamiha is the top three for those. Yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. I'm sorry if I made this video a little bit longer than I thought, but I had to put y'all on to all the best free to play moves. I'm A Ball VJ. I'll see you guys in the next one.